Welcome to Endoscopy on Air 2020. Watch Silvia Carrara from Milano in performing EOS guided puncture of a pancreatic tumor. A pancreatic cancer. He had pain in February and uh, he made a US and uh, a CT scan that demonstrate this very deep mass in the uncinate process. So you see that I'm very torqued because uh, the tumor is very deep uh, and it's also infiltrating the jejunal vessel, vessel going to the mesentery vessel. So that means that it, it's, it is a T4 pancreatic cancer. As you see, I'm using a Fujifilm echogastroscope connected to the SU1 echo processor. And you see that we have a very good picture, especially here you see, this is a jejunal vessel going to the superior mesentery vein. He has also a portal hypertension because he has infiltration of the confluence. And we can appreciate this tumor, the thickening of the vessel. You see here, and the tumor is here. I'm very deep in the second portion, the duodenum, into the duodenum, and the instrument is very flexible also at the level of the tip. And we can also adjust the, the picture and you, we can use the compound, the harmonic compound. Yeah, that's very, ni very nicely okay. demonstrated. You see here the how the, the picture is very good with the arrow. I can show you how we can see the infiltration. This is very important for the vascular staging. We have also some lymph nodes here. So we have an M2 tumor, as we can see with uh, EOS. I'm going to puncture the tumor since uh, it is not resectable and the patient will have chemotherapy. And uh, I'm using a, a Medtronic sharp core needle, a 25. Well, I choose uh, an FMB needle because uh, um, we have a very good result with the, this needle and we can uh, also send uh, the the sample size uh, to the pathologist for final diagnosis, histological diagnosis. Uh, since I'm in the uncinate process, uh, the 25 Goju needle is uh, one of my favorites. But with this instrument, which is very flexible, uh, you can also use uh, if you want uh, the 22 Goju needle. It's a Medtronic sharp core needle, which has a platform, as you see, you can choose the size of the needle. And uh, you can start with this uh, 25 gauge needle. Okay, you see, I, first of all, I came out from the operative channel with the, here, the shelter. Yes, if you, these instruments are also the biopsy guide that is very important, very useful for the fellows or people which is uh, learning US. Uh, since the mass is quite uh, huge uh, and uh, a little bit necrotic in the middle, I will try to go a little bit uh, uh, in the periphery of the mass. You see here the stylet, I withdrawn a little bit the stylet and then a puncture. It's a very sharp, and then we release, we use the slow pull technique and the fanning technique. I move a little bit my body because uh, I'm in a very, very angled position, but you see that you can move the needle inside, okay, with very echogenicity and a very handable. We can release just the needle. So the platform stay in. We release it, we, we've drawn the needle, and I will show you how we process the material. We use the MOS, so it is the endoscopist who see the material, how good is uh, the quality of the material that we have obtained with our biopsy. Okay, the nurse, uh, okay, pull down the, the stylet. As I told you, the, the tumor is uh, a little bit necrotic and also mucoid. So you have this material I don't know if you can see, there is a little core here, if you can appreciate. So if you do MOS, we usually perform three pass, as the guideline says, and we send for a final pathological examination. 
Here you see the biopsy results and the patient's further course. And the next slide shows the echo endoscope and the needles used in this case. And finally, this is Silvia Carrara's recommended reading.